This week, we learn more about helping kids have fun at Give Kids the World. Then we tee up at the brand new Drive Shack. Plus the latest theme park news and more coming at you from the attraction studio at Give Kids the World Village. Right, right now. now. Welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Elisa. And I'm Quinn. And you were gone last week, but you're back now. I am back, how yes. Was, how was Asheville? Yes, so I went to Asheville with my husband. It was our one-year anniversary. Asheville, North Carolina, not Nashville. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, it was amazing. I had an absolutely amazing time. We stayed at a little Airbnb cottage. Um, it was cute. I've never done an Airbnb before, so that was a fun experience. But I loved it. All the little personal touches from our host. And... Um, we saw mountains, we ate a lot of food. Huh. Um, we did some attractions there. We went to the Biltmore Estate and we also went to the Pinball Museum, okay, which so was incredible. <laughs> yeah, if you don't eat food and go to attractions, are you even on a trip? Are like, you even living your life? Yeah, really. Yeah, exactly. So we, uh, we did a lot and it was super, super nice to get away for a little while, see something outside of Orlando. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you for asking. It was, yeah, no, it was no problem. I'm, I'm interested. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, next, let's move on to some news in the queue right after these messages. Staying at a Disney resort is magical, but doing it for 25% off makes it even better. Now, thanks to MEI Travel, if you book a stay at select Disney resorts for summer travel, you may qualify for a 25% discount. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. For a true Florida experience, you can take a trip to Gatorland. In fact, with Undercover Tours, you can save $12 when you purchase admission to Gatorland with a ticket to ride the Screaming Gator zipline. For the best ticket deals, visit undercovertourist.com. This week we start at Universal Orlando as we learn some new details about their first ever value resort. Universal's Endless Summer Resort will be opening next year. This new location, built at the former Wet n Wild location, will offer standard rooms and two bedroom suites. This new hotel will have free transportation to the park, early park admission, and a starting price of $73 a night. Bookings for the new hotel will be offered soon. I think it's so cool that this new these new resorts are popping up everywhere for mm -hmm. Universal. It's like so much expansion in just the matter of a couple of years. And with Aventura's coming along nicely. Yeah, and I'm now, excited for Aventura. Yeah. But I, I really, I feel like Universal only knows how to make beach themed hotels. <laughs> like besides um, Hard Rock and um, oh, what's, they have another that isn't, it's hard to keep yeah, track of them all. Yeah. But. Yeah, Sapphire Falls is a little bit yeah, beachy. Yeah, that's beachy. Cabana well. Bay is Cabana beachy. Bay, yeah. Um, true. Although I really love the beach, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> oh, Portofino. Portofino's Portofino. the one. It's, uh, it's like, it's on the water, but it's not a beach. That's yeah. what I was thinking of. Anyway. <laughs> I think it'll be really pretty. The concept art looks great. I know it's a little bit further away, mm -hmm. but with the free transportation, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, yeah. So. And you get early park admission, so. Mm -hmm. Which you would with any of the resorts, mm -hmm. but so get an early start, have a nice and, and cost-effective resort. That's not bad for, you know, starting price. So I'm mm -hmm. excited for it to open to try new resorts. <laughs> now we continue with news about Universal, but this time we're talking about the West Coast. May 11th and 12th, Universal Hollywood will begin celebrating the 25th anniversary of the original Jurassic Park movie. This separately ticketed event will cost $69 for only the event or $129 for the event and a day ticket. Guests will get to see the original film and get a special commemorative lanyard and unlimited access to, to Jurassic Park The Ride, along with other select attractions. There will also be an interactive expo area featuring original props like the gyrosphere from Jurassic Worlds. Live entertainment, themed food, and merchandise will also be available during the event. Guests are invited to dress up as their favorite character from the franchise and participate in theme photo ops and a fan costume show. 
I wish we had this here. This sounds so fun, especially mm -hmm. for those diehard Jurassic Park fans, which mm -hmm. there's so many of. Um, I, I wish that we would have it here too. Although we have some pretty cool 25th anniversary merchandise in our stores. Do we really? Yes. All right. Well, yes. I'm going to have to head there. Jurassic Outfitters at Islands of Adventure. Yeah, I got to go check that out. Yeah, but this sounds like a really fun event for the West Coast. Like, I just want to go over there just to do this event just because it's something different, you know? Mm -hmm. So you know, Every time I go to like a convention like Megacon or something, I always see the the jeep is always there in the parking lot or either mm -hmm. on the on the convention floor mm -hmm. and there's always that dr grant mm -hmm. cosplayer oh yeah like, yeah oh yeah it's a classic <laughs> It's going to be fun. <laughs> For our next bit of news, we'll fly over to Disneyland Paris. The Lion King, a brand new musical, will officially debut next year. This musical stage show will be performed at the renovated Sharp Sharp Parol Theater in Disneyland Paris. <laughs> what, you don't speak French? You no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, this sounds adorable. I love The Lion King. I love seeing it in any rendition that they do. I mm -hmm. saw The Lion King over in Hong Kong. So oh, really? Wow. Disney, yeah. So this is you know, Paris is probably going to be beautiful and amazing. Oh, yeah, so. definitely. <laughs> I mean, I saw it when it was over at the Dr. Phillips Center. Did you? Oh, or, yeah, yeah, I've seen it there as well. Mm -hmm. I saw it on Broadway. Oh, yeah. So any rendition of The Lion King is a beautiful rendition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we transition back to Orlando for some sad news about the upcoming removal of the Crossroads Shopping Center. Yeah, with the continuing improvement to Interstate 4, the shopping center is in the way for new road development. The Growth Spotter website has reported that the tenants of the shopping center have been told that they have 18 months to close up shop. Demolition is expected to happen in 2020 with the interstate construction beginning soon after. Much of this land will be used to fix State Road 535, allow for expansion on Interstate 4, and be an area for retention ponds. I really hope they relocate. My favorite place there is Tom and Chi. Oh, the Have grilled cheese yeah. place? Oh, yeah. Of course. We, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. we went we there when it opened. Didn't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the Crossroads Shopping Center has definitely grown a lot over the years. It's a beautiful central place mm -hmm. right there off of Hotel Plaza Boulevard coming into Disney. Yep, right next to Disney Springs. It's got a 24 hour Goodings uh, grocery <laughs> store. You know, a lot of people have visited there, and there's a lot of mm -hmm. restaurants and places to eat, so it's going to be sad to see it go away. Oh, there's a pirate mini golf in there too, isn't there? There's so many things in there. It's sweet tomatoes, so many, so many delicious things. Moe's, it's going to be sad. I hope they all find, find new homes nearby. I do too, because that's a lot of jobs, a lot of places, mm -hmm. you know, but again, Interstate 4 will never be done with construction, <laughs> as anyone that's driven on it will know, and you know, if this can like, help improve, then I understand. It's like Disney, it'll never be done. Correct. It will always be under construction. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, we take a trip 4.4 million light years away to Pandora, the world of Avatar. A brand new meet and greet is in the works, and this character is much bigger than most. Brand new mech suits driven by Pandora Conservation Initiative pilots will be walking around the land. This meet and greet will focus on the work of the scientists in Pandora. This suit is set to debut officially on April 22nd for the 20th birthday of Animal Kingdom, but I actually already saw mm -hmm. pictures of it in the park. Yeah, I know it's been doing some previews in the mm -hmm. park. Um, it looks really cool. Yeah, I love it. Because I know when it originally opened, everyone wanted to meet the Navi. Uh -huh. But I mean, this is a good second because it's just giant just mech suits. Just huge you know? and large. I think it's cool to see that the the you know the person that's talking is mm -hmm. sitting and it's actually just like a robot being driven around. Like it's so mm -hmm. large, it's really cool. I know there's something that looks a little bit similar at Universal. The Transformers I think looks a little bit like it, but they're not you know sitting in the suit. So it's just like yeah. it's really cool to see something that big come to life in the land. Yeah, because the Transformers aren't people. They're they're aliens. Transformers. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> no. But it's gonna be, re it's really cool. Uh, I'm glad to see a meet and greet come out in that area mm -hmm. because you know, there's not really a whole lot of meet and greets there. Yeah, so. it's just the two attractions in the restaurant. Of course, it's beautiful. And mm -hmm. I think that the, that the Macs really fit in, yeah. so. Hello again, everybody. Hope you've had a good week. Well, let's talk about a hidden Mickey. We're in Epcot at Frozen Ever After. Along the inside entrance queue, three plates on the wall come together to form a classic hidden Mickey. To find the image, after you walk into the room to the left, it's called the Ice Master and Deliverer of Arendelle room. Just inside this room, which is just inside the building, 
Turn around back toward the entrance door and look above you. The three plate Mickey is in the middle of a group of plates high up on the wall. Have fun! So as we briefly mentioned earlier at the start of our show, we are now filming at Give Kids the World Village here in Kissimmee, Florida. Thanks to Give Kids the World, we have a beautiful office here now. We are very, very grateful. And we're actually here with Stephen today to talk a little bit more about what Give Kids the World Village entails. So thank you, Stephen, for talking to us. Um, can you let us know exactly what is Give Kids the World? Sure. Uh, Give Kids the World is an 84-acre resort uh, with children with life-threatening or terminal illnesses whose one wish is to come to Central Florida. Uh, be it Walt Disney World, Universal Studios, SeaWorld, uh, we work with those wish granny organizations to make sure they have the best week of their lives. That's so incredible. How long has this place been around? We've been around for 32 years, and in those 32 years, we've granted 161,000 wishes. Wow, that is so perfect. What kind of activities can you do here on site? Uh, every day of the week here is a different holiday or celebration. Uh, so tonight is Christmas. Uh, so on Thursdays, uh, Santa Claus comes to town, there's a Christmas parade, it snows in the village, uh, all the kids get gifts, so it's just a huge fun activity in the evening. That's so wonderful. Yeah. And, and I know that the theme parks are you know, incorporated within Give Kids the World as well. How is that? Yeah, our theme parks in here in Orlando are some of our best partners. Uh, Walt Disney World, Universal, and SeaWorld all provide tickets to the families while they're here. So they can go to Disney World for three days, Universal Studios for two days, and SeaWorld for a day. Um, and they, are, uh, they have the best time there. So these, they get front of line access or close to. Uh, even the characters from the parks come here to give kids a world. So uh, in the mornings, for example, on Mondays and Fridays, the characters from Walt Disney World, so Mickey Mouse, Pluto, and Mary Poppins, uh, they're there during the breakfast time to meet the family. So uh, our theme park partners are just wonderful here. So I know tonight is Christmas here at Give Kids. What are some other holidays that are celebrated? Yeah, for sure. So uh, Monday's Halloween, so the families and the kids can go trick-or-treating and wear their costumes. Uh, Tuesday is Mayor Clayton's surprise birthday party. Uh, so today's Christmas. Uh, and then over the weekend, we do on Sunday, we do the world's largest game of Candyland over at Matthew's Boundless Playground, which is a fully ADA accessible uh, playground. So the kids all dress up like characters from Candyland and get to participate in that. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Yeah. And so there must be so many wonderful people involved with this company. How can someone want volunteer? For sure. It is a huge undertaking to make sure that this village can stay open. Uh, we fill 1,700 volunteer shifts a week here. Uh, so if anyone's interested, they can just go to the website and click the volunteer tab. Uh, and I'll direct them how they can do that. So Stephen, aside from volunteering, what are some other ways that people can help and get involved? Yeah, so we always say give, serve, share. So we're always looking for donations to the village or we're always looking for people to serve the village by um, volunteering their time. Uh, also sharing it, we have our own social media channels. So if anyone wants to read any of our posts and share it on theirs, uh, that definitely helps get the message out. Perfect. Well, this, sound, this was so nice to talk to you. We're very grateful again for our studio office here at Give Kids the World. We look forward to filming our episodes here every week and learning a little bit more about the village. And if you would like to learn more as well, you can visit gktw.org. Thank you so much, Thank Stephen. you so much. <laughs> MEI has a philosophy to really want to understand their clients, to understand truly what their needs are and what they're looking for. We have a level of service that is top notch and we really want to do everything we can to make sure you have the best vacation possible. MEI and Mouse Van Travel is your expert source for no fee travel planning. Visit mei-travel.com for a no obligation quote today. Skip the lines with undercover tours, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. Quentin, do you know if Banks knows how to play hockey? I do not know why. Well, I know he's covering our next segment at Drive Shack. Yeah, and? Well, it's a super awesome driving range, and I want to watch Banks Happy Gilmore, that thing. Well, I guess we'll just have to watch and see. All right, take it away, Banks. Four. Oh. All right, we are here in Lake Nona at a brand new driving range called Drive Shack. Now, it's more than just a driving range. They got a lot more things in there, like a restaurant, other games. We're going to head inside, show it all off, and uh, it looks like I got a ride here. Hello. Thank you very much.
So tell me a little bit about Drive Shack. What does this place offer for people that come in? What Drive Shack offers people is not just a stop on their night out or on the, during their day. It gives them a destination. We've got the restaurant. We've got the free play game lounge upstairs. So if you do encounter any moment of a wait or you still haven't beaten your friend yet at golf, you can sit there and come back in, play upstairs, play skee ball, play golden tee, play shuffleboard, play all those classic social gaming upstairs. But on the range, you're going to find something completely different. You're going to sit there and find technology that's going to give people the element of being able to actually play a golf course here, to actually be able to sit there and hit a ball 300 yards on a 200 yard driving range, to sit there and be able to encounter Shack Jack, Shack, Monster Hunt, the most interactive gaming in the premier golf destination. Now, how does this technology work when you, uh, when you hit the ball? How does it track the ball? Basically, our balls are actually true, authentic golf balls. And you're going to sit there and be able to strike them with the tailor-made, you know, premium clubs, those are traditional tailor-made clubs, sitting there being able to hit them into the range. What it actually is doing is that it's actually tracking the ball via all the technology with the cameras and the angles. It can tell you everything from launch speed, backspin ratio, peak height, all the information that a true, you know, experienced golfer wants to see, but also information that a novice and a beginning golfer is going to appreciate. That's what I was going to ask. So this is a place that's really tailor-made for people who are just kind of doing this for fun and PGA professionals, really. Oh, definitely. And how you said it with tailor-made is exactly the point. They are tailor-made clubs. It's perfect from everyone from a beginning golfer all the way to an experienced golfer. We want to make sure that everyone could experience Drive Shack and have a great time. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the location because this is, you know, a place that's uh, kind of a little bit outside of the main attraction areas. So where is Drive Shack located? Drive Shack's right off the 417, which... Anyone in Orlando knows between it and the 429 are the only two roads left that don't have traffic. So it's easy for <laughs> it's easy for any local to actually be able to get here. And that's the one important thing. We're not just Drive Shack, we're Drive Shack Orlando. While you can get here easily from any of the attraction areas, we're built here for locals to be able to come in here and appreciate that locals get to appreciate Drive Shack. They get to come in here and have the gaming. They get to come in here and enjoy the food. They get to come back here on a regular basis and not go through what sometimes is a force field at 528 or Sand Lake and International Drive for some of the locals in Orlando. And that's where we're really excited to have our first location in Orlando for the locals to be able to enjoy. All right, so the big part of Drive Shack is, of course, the driving range right here. And when you come and you want to play a game, these golf clubs right here are provided free with your rental. You can also do some premium golf clubs for additional fee or even bring your own golf clubs. Right now, let's get to what these games are. So right here we have uh, 10 different games. The bottom five are go golf courses. These three are based on real golf courses and these two were created just for Drive Shack. Up here, I wanna show you these games. This right here, Shack Jack, is basically blackjack. You're trying to hit the targets and they are cards and you wanna get 21, you don't wanna go over. Monster Hunt, there are monsters out here in the targets you have to try and hit and take out. Uh, Shack is like a game of horse. You have targets you have to hit, and if you don't hit them in a certain amount of turns, you get a letter, just like, you know, basketball and horse. So I really want to show you the Shack Jack, because I was having fun trying that out earlier. So let's get to get. So each bay here has its own set of screens, and you'll be able to look up while you're here on the tee to see what's going on with your game. Up here is Shack Jack, as I was talking about. That is the map right there for this round and the card values for each of the targets. Now, Obviously, the, the good ones are the you know, kings and the tens, and they are closer, so I'm going to use, uh, I think I'm going to use a five right now, and I'm going to try and hit a ten. Uh, no, I think I'm going to hit a king, because that's the, the pink card targets right out here, so let's go for a king. It's really easy to get your ball. All you do is you take your club, and you swing it over here over the sensor, and then out pops the ball. And then you have to place it in this square, which is the uh, hitting area, and then you'll see, found it, so now we take our shot. There it is. Boom, got it. So, got a king, that's good. Nothing's gonna give me a 21, so the best bet is just to get another 10 and get a 20 and, and the hold right there. So, the 10s are right here, right? The closest ones, these blue ones. So I got a wedge. I'm gonna try and see if I can hit it and not hit too hard. Well, it went through it, does that count? It does, all right, so I got 20. So then I'm going to go over here, and it's going to say, okay, I have a 20 there. Do I want to hit or stay? And I'm going to stay. So now I go to the next round.
I'm better physically than <laughs> visually on uh, golf. Let's see if I can. That may have been too hard. Or not hard enough. I'm going outside. So one thing, if you're local like me and you want to take advantage of a Drive Shack is their membership program. It's a one-time fee of $5, and you'll get this card, and this will allow you, when you come back for future visits, to so just go straight up to a kiosk they're going to have available, swipe it, rent out your bay right there, and then when you get to your bay, that's where you can pay for your hour of your gameplay. This should be working at future Drive Shack locations as well, so it's definitely something you want to invest in if you're planning on doing multiple visits. So that was your look at Drive Shack. It's out here in Lake Nona, not too far from the Orlando International Airport. Prices range from $30 to $50 per hour for up to six people, depending on the time of the day that you come. And Drive Shack opens at 9 a.m. every day. You can go to driveshack.com for more details. Have you downloaded our free Attractions Magazine app? It features news articles, as well as every issue of our magazine, available right in the app. Plus, catch up on all episodes of the show, and even view all of our online videos in one place. Download the app for free in the App Store today. This week's birthday shout outs go out to Carol Roseboom, David O'Connell, Shelly Curran, Jeff Stahl, Richard Balbo. Also happy birthday to Dave Solo, Megan Stump, Terry Brinketer, Justin Babinski, Jody Bennett, and our West Coast reporter Tiffany Mink. Happy birthday everyone. We know many of you have been following along with Attractions Magazine for years and years and we appreciate it. But in that time we have been to countless media events, ride openings, and well, we've collected a lot of cool stuff. Now some of these things can be yours with the purchase of an Attractions Mystery Merch Box. For $35, you can receive a box full of random items based on theme parks and attractions. This may include things like posters, lanyards, backpacks, pins, cups, USB drives, magic bands, t-shirts, action figures, and so much more. No two boxes will ever be the same, and you can order yours now at attractionsmagazine.com. And now we want to thank MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for cruises, Disney, Universal, and Adventures by Disney. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. And thanks to Undercover Tourist, a recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. So we have an exciting new video series for Attractions Magazine called Attractions mm -hmm. Kids. Starring kids, for kids, super fun. I love this. Yeah, we're going to have some hosts like uh, Spencer, which is Banks' daughter. And we're going to have a new reporter, Oliver. He's just been born yesterday. Ooh. Congratulations, Banks and Sydney. We can't wait to meet Oliver and have him be our new little reporter in training. Definitely. Um, but yes, again, please stay, look forward to seeing more episodes of Attractions Kids. All kinds of kids, all kinds of fun. We can't wait. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun. this week's episode of the show. I'm Elisa. And I'm Quinn. Okay, thought you were going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> With the continuing improvement to Interstate 4, the shopping center is on the way for nude, 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 nude road <laughs> development. Whoa! That's, that's shocking. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Nude! 